So I feel like the football gods have been shining in on Colorado. It's like things always balance out. No matter how much bad you hear in the news with things that are going on with Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffalo Soldiers. I call them soldiers. I know it's football. But over there in Boulder, a, a big thing is brewing, I feel like, this year. But the third year of Deion Sanders' rise, because Colorado will be a fool to fire him. Even if he's not winning games like a Nick Saban, he's bringing a different culture to Boulder. Like, you look at Colorado, they only won one game prior to Deion and only had one winning season out of 19 years. And 19, so 18 losing, basically, no, I'm, I'm tripping. In 20 years, they had only one winning season and all the rest were 19 losing seasons. You know what I mean? So Boulder is overdue for it's just dues in as far as the game of life. And what I love about this, hold on. What I love about this is Julian Lewis, the number one rated quarterback, I think for the class of 2025, he's about to make his decision very soon. And lately, him and his dad's been defending Dion. That doesn't mean they're going to Colorado, but that man doesn't even play for Dion yet. He has more of a respect factor for what's going over there at Boulder. Even if he comes to Colorado or not, he's standing up just like the lineman Seaton said. Uh, uh, um, why not go play for a man that looks like you? You know what I mean? That spoke volumes to how this generation do got a lot of young men who are ready to grow up, who are ready to be men. And it, it shows you the different contrast between Kormani, no game, his groupies. They always say, quit bashing the kid. And I'd be like in the comment section, where is the kid? I don't see no kid. I see Kormani, a grown man. You feel me? But let's fast forward. So Coach Darrell, the quarterback guru coach or whatever, he coaches Shador Sanders and Julian Lewis. Now, he started recently following both of the uh, players or whatever. I know you're like, what does that mean, blessed one? Well, it means a lot of changes come into Boulder. You know what I mean? I personally feel Julian Lewis, you know, might be plugged in because you can literally see him getting ready to be a starting quarterback. If Because we just lost our backup. I'm going to do a video about that. We lost the backup quarterback down over there. I, I'm not mad. He stood tall on when he left Dion's team. He didn't speak negative about Dion. He praised Coach Prime. See, we don't have an issue of players transferring. It's when they transfer and start yapping out their mouth like a Dylan Edwards talking about, I want to get more ball carries. I want a team that has better quarterback play like cowards, just like Xavier Smith, Xavier No Smith, you feel me? Can't smell Smith, just like Alton make no skills. You know what I'm saying? We can keep going, man. Like, if you leave in a professional manner, people will acquiesce to you in a professional manner. So it just feels good. Julian Lewis news like that is coming out. Um, I hope we get to see a change as far as the way people look at, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 how a player should react, how a, a player should be treated. You know what I mean? Because Julian, Julian Lewis is doing his pr process the right way. Even if he don't come to Colorado, man, that's a mature dude. And you want to root for a guy like that. Now, let's fast forward to his dad. His dad is even more of an outstanding man, something that Cormani and these guys lack. Julian Lewis' dad had to go on the defense of Deion Sanders doing all these attacks coming out of left and right. You got, but we're about to expose an athletic um writer. I think it's something Olsen. Oh, we got the story on you, King. Writing all these hit pieces on Deion Sanders, like a hundred different articles. I'm exaggerating. More like 20-something articles, but nevertheless, all vehemently trying to come at Dion. Anybody who wants to transfer, you can find Olsen. He'll give you a cover-worthy story. That, that's just wild, bro. I thought to be a journalist, even your sources have to be credible. But I guess in 2024, everybody is a journalist. Look, man, this video wasn't that long. I just wanted to break that news on Julian Lewis. Hopefully he come to Boulder, man. Um, he's he, he's one of the good guys who got a great head on his shoulders, man. You know what I mean? You can see what he exudes when he speaks. Is leader. Leaders are needed. Leaders are not um talked about as much for the young community. I believe leaders are needed like no other. You're seeing what's transpiring through Dylan Edwards, Cormani, Xavier Smith, Alton. You're seeing when they don't have real people uh, guiding them and leading them 
Uh, you see how it falters. You're probably saying why I keep saying Dylan Edwards like that. This ain't the first time he committed to Kansas State. Let's knock it off. He wanted to go home. He didn't have a chance to be home. He spurned them off for Notre Dame. And then he didn't like how he seen other running backs doing real. You feel me nice over that Notre Dame for another black coach. Shout out to that black coach in Notre Dame. You know what I mean? Let's hope they don't do him like they did Tyrone Willingham. But anyways, don't let that part go over your head. But for Dylan Edwards, you know what I'm saying? He then spurned them to go to Dion. You know what I mean? So this dude is not really uh, – Dylan wasn't really looking for a brother to be coached with. When he went to uh, uh, Kansas State, he had a few connections to his dad, and he thought things would go easy, so he wanted to go there. But when he's seen other players were more better than him, I'm going to keep saying that, he skedaddled out of there and went to Notre Dame, seen better players over there, left, and then went to Colorado because Coach Prime. All these places he was going to had nothing to do with coaching. He didn't go to Coach Prime because he was black. He didn't try to go to the Notre Dame coach because he was black. He tried to go to advantage, advantage, uh, advantage situation where he could immediately start. I mean, I'm not a, mad at a player for doing that, but who are you to get the position without working for it or earning it? You know what I mean? Folks think people make their money on a name. Nah, man. Only one dude who made money on his name the right way, and that was Marlo from The Wire. My name is my name. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your guy, DJ Bless, one of the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.